and it's Craig Barton, and it's 13. What I want to be, I want to be a gamekeeper. I borrowed another ferret off the next door neighbours, mate. Yeah, she having babies. Why are you dressed like that? That's what I can't tell you. I've decided to leave. I'm John the Raff. Leave? Yeah. It's a big decision. We've been thinking about it for a while. Well, I know that. Why, 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 why have people decided to leave then? I don't enjoy school anymore. Really, I'm looking for a long term career in the Raff. Hopefully when I'm 19, I'll have higher rank if I get in the raft, which I hope I will. My own care, my own flat or something like that. I could live in discipline earlier. There's a lot more incentive though. People there to encourage you. Today's RAF is a swift moving high tech organisation where teamwork and excellence is all important. Morning, Jackie. Good morning. Right then. I see from your application form, your inquiry form, that you're interested in ground trades. Yeah. The technician side of things. Aircraft technician and propulsion. Firstly, how old are you? 16. Um, turned 17 in three weeks. So you're nearly 17? Yeah. That's okay. You're old enough to do that now. Right. Uh, qualifications. Do you know what it takes to be a technician in the Air Force? Two GCSEs, Grade C, or equivalent with a Maths and a Science subject with a Physics base. Actually, you need four, four GCSEs at Grade C and above. Maths, English language, a Science with a Physics based element yeah. to it, and one other. Yeah. Now, looking at your qualifications that you've got here, you've just missed out. Yeah. Aren't having enough for technician entry. Yeah. How would you feel about doing resits at school? I've done. I've done some, but English language isn't one of them. Yeah. Which is the GCSE I haven't got. And how would you feel about going back to school and doing that? If needs be, then I would. You do realise that uh, throughout the whole process, you're under no obligation whatsoever to join the service. Yeah. Which means you can change if you decide to change your mind, then that's entirely up to you. Right. Likewise, we're under no obligation whatsoever to take you into the service. If at any time during the process we find you unsuitable for any reason whatsoever, then we'll just tell you that sorry you failed. You must appreciate that to come into the service you have to be physically fit, which means you have to meet certain height weight regulations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm looking at you, I would suggest that if you're seriously contemplating during the service, you go out and really, really try yeah. to get yourself a little bit fitter. Yeah. What we can do, and which should probably be the best idea anyway, would be to book you in for an appointment to come and sit the aptitude tests. That way, it gives you an idea and us an idea of whether you're going to make the grade or not. Yeah. yeah. As you can appreciate, with not the, there not being very many vacancies, then we can afford to be very picky and choosy as yeah. to who we take in. Would it be to my advantage if I got a job in a garage or something like that and go to tech or something on night? Only in the aspect that it keeps you off the street and keeps you busy. Yeah. It won't benefit you at all for actually getting in the service. What we're looking for is your qualifications and your aptitude. Mm -hmm. yeah? By all means, go out and look for another job. There is no guarantees whatsoever that we will take you into the service. I couldn't believe it, you know. When you phoned me up at work and you said, uh, hey dad, I passed my test, I thought, I'm being wound up. I'm a father and I admire her. 
I think she's wonderful. But that's her dad. And like you said before, the milk floats. Uh, the, the worst of the lot are taxi drivers. They drop people off anywhere at any time. When December went to the Cambridge interview, I went down and I was really impressed. It's lovely. And then um, I was really quite nervous. Walking through Cambridge itself, I said to Louise, just to get here alone is one hell of an achievement. And the first interview, the general interview, that went fine. But when it came to the subject interview, I was sat there and it was these two people sat on each side of the couch. I was thinking, oh no! I just got myself in knots and it was horrible. And I sort of knew that I'd not got in. Yeah. That's the, that's the thing that I've always feared, you know, like this little one coming out there now. Very I've never really. <laughs> it sounds silly, but I've never really failed that much. It sounds quite big-headed, but it's not. It's not really. <laughs> just a moment. The head, the head of years just come in. I'll just check for you. Just a moment, please. Has Andrew been in school? Not been in school Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday? No. What did you have on the phone? The register isn't at five, Miss Yardley. Yes. Hello, if you could just hold the line. Um, the head of year was saying no. Um, he hasn't been in school either, Andrew, but she's just gone to get the register for you and she'll check it up for you. <laughs> Apparently, Andrew wasn't in school on Friday and he hasn't been in Monday, Tuesday, and he's not in today. Yeah. Yes. Right. All week. Yeah. And Richard hasn't been in. Um, let me just check this again. 24. Hasn't been in Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Richard's in today, but Andrew is not in at all. No, it, would you like to have a word with Miss Yardley, who's the assistant head of, of that year? Just a moment, please, I'll put you through to her. Just a moment. <coughs> Hello, Miss... Hello? Hi, Miss... Miss Yardley. Hiya. What's up? Well, I phoned on Tuesday, do you work? And I couldn't get any answer because after three days we're supposed to phone or make contact. But excuse me, I've been running. And um, to see if there was anybody uh, there. There was no answer. Now I have to imagine, um, I didn't follow it up then because I trusted Richard and Andrew. <laughs> and I feel terrible. Let's give you some reading to do. I wonder if you begin with these words here. Start from that one there and read across for me. My name's Alf Borg. I'm an educational psychologist working for St. Helens. I see children with a variety of uh, behavioural difficulties and learning difficulties that are um, referred uh, to me. OK, let's start there. Have you got any pets? A ferret. Has he got a name? Meg. Meg. And a dog. And you've got a dog as well. What do you do with a ferret? Well, we'll go out, pull it down, rabbit holes and bolt in the rabbit. No. Uh, you either put a net on the hole when the rabbit comes out or shoot it when it's running. And you enjoy doing that? Yeah. And uh, have you caught any rabbits doing that? Yeah, quite a few. Right. And what happens to the rabbits? We kill them and eat them. We kill them and eat them? Yeah. So who skins the rabbits? Me and Paul. My mum went in once for it get the ferret bite because she was out in the galley and she couldn't see it. Next thing I could feel was ferret climbing up a tight.
she screamed and the ferret dropped off because she moved. thing is shot. I cried because I, I didn't like seeing it getting killed. And like it just tumbled over. I didn't like it. I, I thought it was mean but I've got used to it now. Shot on a Saturday night. Okay now we need to look to the future really don't we? Yeah. What do you want to do with yourself when you've left school? Be a gamekeeper. Do you think your education is going to be important for you to be a gamekeeper? Well, I know a lot of things about it, mm -hmm. like animals and all that. Right. Mm. But do you think your education in school mm. is going to be important? Some lessons, yeah. Some lessons might yeah. be important. What sort of lessons do you think might be important? Mm. Maths and And why would maths be important? Like, because it'll help you count things up, like, when you have to, like, count the food you have to feed the game within that. And do you think a reference would be important for you? To have a good reference? Probably, yeah. Yes. And do you think your, the school would give you a good reference now? Well, for the last two weeks, yeah. <laughs> Graham, Fiona, Mark Atherton. some of the uh, suggestions are about what you should do in class. Keep me a dance to away from the people who get in trouble, think more about the questions, write more. Mm. Keep me a dance. Yeah. Pay more attention. Yeah. Yeah. And stop shouting across the classroom. Yeah, yeah. stop shouting across the classroom. And I made a, one suggestion to you, didn't I, about yeah. what you should do in class. Can you tell your mum and dad about that? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously made a great impression on you. <laughs> right, so I suggested to you that if you paid attention and learned just one new thing yeah. in, in, a lesson, in a lesson, then at the end of the day that would be five new things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the week that would be 25 new things. And how yeah. many did that make at the end of the month? A hundred. A hundred new things at the end of the month. And if you remembered all those hundred things, that at the end of the month you'll be coming top in the class probably, <laughs> wouldn't you? Yeah. Because if you don't do that, then you're going to find difficulties when it comes to times for gaining exams and qualifications and yeah. careers. And all that's going to start happening in year nine. There'll be discussions about careers and options and what you can do. Okay? Yeah. So we need to be sure that you're doing your work properly. Um, his mum was going to have the baby said he wouldn't have shoes on. Yeah, yeah, that was funny. Now, what about on page 113? Mark, have you found it? Show him, Andrew. I've got this, a trolley with a CCTV on top of it. Yeah. Just take it around into yeah, my lessons. Um, work right in that's too small, our pictures. It blows it yeah, up onto there, the screen. Well, um, you found William wet. Yeah, and then it says the little... No, I'm asking Mark, Andrew, he's the one that's... You've got it in front of you, Mark's got to find, he's on that 
television yeah, I've got it. Yeah, make sure you've got it. Found it. Start one there. Is it that one? No. Right, that one. William wept and wept. No, not that one. The further up. Right up. He did. Now then go down a bit. Down. There we go. Right. Can you see it? Yeah. William wept. William wept. Go on, read it. William wept and wiped. Oh, wiped. Wait, she's now on. Oh. And Dr. Snake. That's right, good. So what have we got there? A new line, haven't we? Because the story's carrying on. Well, now then, let's look right at the very end. Where well, you're going to write your own story. I want you to think of your story and just some idea. I can type fast. Touch typing. And just... Uh, only lesson, all the work that I've done um, in the day, I, t I go home and then print it. Uh, not porridge, yeah. egg and chips. Right, hello dear. Oh. Uh, is it alright if I give you a few things to do to start off with? Mm -hmm. Could you start um, by writing your name on that line for me there? Yeah. Thank you. Okay, now I'd like you to read some words for me. Can you start with that one there and just read across for mm -hmm. me? What, what do you think that one was? Star. Okay, and try the next one. I used to be scared that when I couldn't read, people that were going to laugh at me. Right, go on to the next one. Because I couldn't read and spell proper. If you don't recognise it, just say you don't know. I don't know. Right. Now, let me ask you a few general knowledge questions. Which month comes next after March? Which month comes next after March? Good, right. If I was good, like people would call me swat and things like that like oh you're a good boy now aren't you why don't you start being why? bad again when i get into trouble they we'll laugh it's not worth it it's re really it's just they get a bit of fun out of it and why you're getting told off it's not really worth it when you think about it it's a girl in our class called Carmel, so a lot of lads like her, but I used to like myself, but I, I like her now as a friend. There is one girl who I like her, and her name's Chloe Rigby. Well, I, I did like her, but I don't, I don't like her that much. Some of the girls right, come up to me and go do this and do that, but I don't listen to girls. And what sort of things are involved in the aptitude test? Any idea? Have you seen an example? English of it? vocab. I've got examples. Arithmetic vocab. IQ. And I assume you've got to do certain. Well, that's not so bad, is it? Mm. I've got a date. I've, I have to do that on. The 29th of June. Okay, that's not something you can revise for. Well, no, most of it's mental arithmetic, isn't it, then? Reasoning. That's not so bad. Just take your time over it. You don't get worried about it. You won't have any problem with that. Mm. I wouldn't have thought. So you take the aptitude test, and then what? 
presuming everything is fine, what would happen then? Um, well, they won't start any process until I get that qualification. Sit yourself down and get it done, and then it, it makes life so much more comfortable later on. A few pennies in your pocket, a few qualifications, a swagger in your step, and, you know, you're looking up, everything's looking forward, isn't it, then? Can you do it? Yeah. Oh, can you do it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's you that counts. Look after number one. All right. No, all right. <laughs> <laughs> How many days are there in a full week? Seven. Right. And what must you do to make water boil? Heat it up. And which are the four seasons of the year? So, um... Which of the four seasons? You've said one of them. Summer. Yes. Winter. Good. Spring. Yes. Can you remember the other one? No. <laughs> okay. And how many hours are there in a day? Twenty-four. Good. Please sit here. Would you like to pull up a chair? Yes. Yeah. Okay. She's doing very well. We've uh, oh, not not done everything yet. But, um, she's done quite a lot of things for me, haven't you? Right. We've looked at um, some of the things that she's been doing with her, her writing and her reading and also looked at uh, some of the verbal answers mm -hmm. um, and uh, she's, she's done the best uh, for me, she's done a bit of spelling have you? So I think she needs some help over and above um, the amount of help that is normally given in school mm -hmm. to children with difficulties. And one of the best ways that we've got of doing that um, is by carrying out what is called a formal assessment under the 1981 Education Act. Yeah. I mean, like the last year in primary school, right. she was really worried then because she knew that she was going on to high school and she kept saying, what, what are people well, going to think of me because I can't read? Yes. Um, I actually went into school for about nine months with her. Right. doing purred reading, Good. not just with Diane but with the rest of the class, so she didn't feel different from right. the others. Um, um, I did that for about nine months, and she did actually catch up with about six months right. on a reading age at the time, but um, she still is well behind, yeah. as you know, like she, had, she knows that she has a problem, you know, so... I think the one thing to be sure about is that, that Diane isn't on her own. No, I know that. Right. There uh, will be uh, a group by the time we've We've gone through this term. Yeah. I think in year seven, we will be together in that way. They will all probably have, possibly have statements, mm -hmm. and, and, and uh, they'll be working to the, to the same sort of levels, and that's important. Yeah. I think the one thing we want to try and, and, and help with Diane is the, the anxiety a little bit that she mm -hmm. has with the learning. Try to take that aside, give her the, the increasing confidence that we're, you know, sympathetic with the problems, and then and then we can move forward. Yeah. All right. My name's Neil. Hi, my name's John. We're here on work experience. I'm here for two weeks at Bowl Veterinary Clinic. And, and we, we love, love it. it. Bill, but first let's see what's cooking at